Hello! Oh, James here. Here to give you, um, a little insight about my Parabox pack. I guess that's what you could call it. Uh, it is very much unfinished right now. Uh, and I guess I'll just talk to you about how some of the development is going and what my ideas were behind it. Um, so this is the first area. It's it's called C colon, but you could interpret it in two ways. You could interpret it as a uh, big smile, or you could interpret it as the beginning of uh, you know when you're in a file and it says like Windows, assuming you're on Windows, Windows then C colon stuff. That that was like it was supposed to be a joke, but obviously it didn't work so well. Um, the, I, the main mechanic I wanted behind this was kind of undecided. I was like, you know what, it's the introduction. Let's just do something that I'm pretty good at, something random. So yeah, that was, that was basically the uh, main mechanic of this. You know, you're just doing random solutions and stuff, and all the worlds so far are genuinely short and uh, have solutions that I didn't anticipate when I first started making it. And, uh, actually, I'm just gonna... Obviously, there's just a, some effort was put into some of the levels, some not as much. And, uh... Like, you can already see a few late-game things in normal Parabox that you see here. Um... But yeah, that, that was basically the main idea behind this, the first section of my Parabox pack, which is anything random, even if it's late game, normal Parabox stuff. Um, but yeah, that was basically it. Anything else? I guess when I first started, it wasn't like... When setting up the hub and everything, it wasn't working as exactly planned, like, I was still getting used to the, uh, um, editor I was using, which was Zygon's one. Uh, you can find that editor on the, uh, on, uh, the Patrick's Parabox Discord. Yeah, that's all I have for this section. Uh, the next section, which is called Jump. Um, the main idea behind this one is using fast travels to get to different sections of the um, level. And what's funny is when you do that, it doesn't say that you're on. The, it doesn't show the level you're on anymore because I guess it assumes you went to a different one. Um, this one had some cycling, but yeah, the basic the basic idea was just doing um, just using fast travels to get around. And you can see I kind of built on that a lot in this one. This one required a little bit of thinking for me to do, um, as all things in this game, kind of. I was like, how do I... How do I make something that doesn't just make it so obvious on what to do? And I just realized that I've been doing this wrong. Wow, he makes the puzzles and he forget how to solve them. This, this wasn't meant to be an in-depth guide about this, I was just telling how things are going here. Um, so yeah, back to what I was saying is like, how do I make this... How do I make the fast travel idea good without making it too good? Like, how to make it so it's like, more thinking of how to use them strategically. 
and then I kind of present like different ideas of how to use the fast travels later on in this area, in this section. And you'll see that in a few levels as, um, oh yeah, <laughs> you'll see it later on. Uh, here's the first instance of using one, is to get around the other sides of this. In fact, even accessing uh, boxes that aren't even on the main level. This level actually kind of went through a lot of refinement as it just couldn't, it just, it just kept not working. Uh, if you saw in the picture, in the, uh, hmm, this is a really bad angle. Well, I need to flip it anyway, so. Also using flips to do that. So yeah, using fast travels to get to boxes that you can't access without um, fast traveling, and uh, yeah. This one also, this one works on the idea that you can use them to get around in the same space, which looks kind of awkward because you can't really tell which one you're on. You kind of just have to do some guesswork. And this one, this level I may, had is, has like an unintentional solve. And uh, I'm not sure if I can replicate it. What you were supposed to do was... Not that. <laughs> What you were supposed to do was get something inside the, uh, this one here. Like, use possession to, uh, get over here, eat that. Like, that's the intended solution, but I found another one that I can't seem to replicate. These challenge levels weren't really challenge levels, they're rather levels that just sim that were really simple um this one is actually made by platform you know the one who made that one level that made me walk out my room um here's credit for you Dinner. terribly sorry for that interruption anyways this level was made by platform i think that's where my last thought was and I forgot that we could just go simple, you know? Not everything has to be looking all so complex. I really like the simplicity of this one. I actually copied- I made, remade the level by hand rather than just taking the entire file because... I don't know why. And here's another one that's- that I kind of built off the platform idea using this just to get around stuff, you know? This one's really simple. And I think that concludes this area. Um, the next area, which is called Tetral, isn't finished yet. And you could probably guess why. Now, when I started making this, I had the idea that I could fill up like an entire thing of this, but now that I realize that these puzzles are kind of boring, it's like the- okay, hear me out. The original idea was using four Patricks to get around and make the shapes of the Tetris pieces. <laughs> that was the original idea. Why it was a bad one is, it just seems, it's really, it's probably just really boring to do over and over again.
Like, look at this. I can't even line them up properly. But yeah, that was the main idea of this. And it, it kind of worked. It sprung this idea of just having to, you know, that one puzzle in, I think, ch ch challenge, I think, it's in. You just have to get the Patricks in the right order. And I just decided to choose, like, a color scheme because I actually really liked this. I went silent there for a second. I was like, how do I solve this? So yeah, it was built off the idea of using four boxes to make something. And this was the last one I made. It's another open to void level. And uh, I'm not even sure if this one's currently possible because I literally just made it and like... Petrol is still being worked on. But yeah, I'm not sure if I'll... I managed to get it wrong even after that, wow. But yeah, that's basically all the progress I have on my Parabox pack at the moment. Um, the next area's idea, and I guess the next section's name is called Boat, um, which is not made yet, but that section will focus on using inner push and obviously op open the sides to the void. So, using the void to your advantage and using inner push to move around. Again, like that one level in appendix, obviously. Inner push. But yeah, that's all the progress I have for now, and I'll update you when there's more to be updated about.